Today I'm going to tell you the story about the boycott of Muslims. Oh, one second. I am not talking about the boycott of Palestinian Muslims, but the Muslims of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's time in Shu'ab bin Abi Talib Ghati. I'm talking about a very difficult time for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his followers from the Banu Hashim clan, the leaders of their city, Quraysh of Makkah city, I mean, did not like that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his people believed in one God and rejected the idea of many gods. You know why? Because of this, they decided to cut them off from everyone else for three years. No one was allowed to talk to them, neither were allowed to keep relationships, do business with them or and even sell them food and water. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his people had to live in a valley and it was a very hard time for them. They did not have enough food or water and the children especially suffered from hunger and thirst. They did not know when will it end it. But they had faith, resistance and perseverance which helped them to pass this crucial time. Just like our beloved Palestinians. They were deprived in every manner. They were deprived with food, medicine, daily goods and shelter. Just like my beloved Palestinians. Because they were on haq and accepted Allah's message. Similarly like our brothers and sisters in Palestine. But you know what? After three years of patience and sacrifice, something surprising happened with the order of Allah. A termite ate away a pamphlet of deal that was hung on the door of Kaaba. This paper was the one that said they had to be treated badly. People, the kuffar, saw this as a slap on their face and sign of punishment from God that the suffering of those prisoners living in an air prison is now over. You know why I'm recording this story? What reminded me to tell this story to you? Because I compared this story to the time of today's modern situation where some powerful countries have stopped giving support to UNRWA an organization that helps people in Palestine by giving them food, medicine and other important things. The story suggests that just like in the past, those who cause suffering to others might face consequences and that God is watching everything. SubhanAllah, these so-called superpower countries, they forgot the Creator's anger and thinking themselves as a Creator, acting themselves as a Creator. But luckily we are those, if in case we suffer more they don't know, that we are gaining more mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And indeed the outcome of the deeds of these stupid disbelievers is coming soon inshallah. This story is a reminder that hard times can happen. But they can also lead to better things in the future inshallah. It also shows that standing up for what you believe in even when it is difficult is important. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum.